Hi, I'm Anna Hardwick with First Weekend Club, and here I am talking with Sarah St. Ange, the director of the new feature film, Molly Maxwell. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming by. It's wonderful to see this film. It's an absolutely nuanced take on a really difficult subject. And I want to ask you a little bit about the writing, the process of creating a story that touches on something so intense and so difficult, but in a way that there is no victim and where everyone is uh, a human being. How did you get to that place in your writing? I really wanted to create um, a story that was non-salacious, that allowed the viewer to kind of make up their own mind about how they felt about the subject. And I also wanted to empower um, a young teenage girl to be making her own decisions and, and then having to be accountable for them. Um, and so that's where it came from. And you have an amazing chemistry um, with the actors, Lola Tash and Charlie Carrick. And apparently you told them not to meet before shooting. Is that true? That is true. Uh, I wanted to... Um, make them feel like there was a bit of taboo between them because I mean Lola is 18 and or she was 18 at the time and, and Charlie was 26 so there wasn't the same kind of stigma but I wanted to kind of create the sense of it between them so that I, and I know that like Lola was secretly emailing Charlie <laughs> <laughs> wanting to run lines and and then Charlie was like I don't think we're supposed to do that so there was sort of the the beginning of the idea of of you know uh, impropriety uh, so I wanted to plant that in their heads. I see. You wanted to keep a separation between them. Okay, and I absolutely loved de the depiction of an arts school or an, al an alternative school. I actually went to a, an arts school, so I have <laughs> I kind of know what that pressure is like to be absolutely extraordinary walking around with child geniuses. And uh, I love that idea that she's a genius, but she's also aimless. And you created a protagonist who's aimless, but extremely active. And that, again, is a very challenging thing to do in the writing. And how did you come up with that balance um, with this character who's sort of lost and unsure, but she's still absolutely active and driven and driving the plot? Um, well, I feel like with her, she's aimless, but she's trying. You know, mm -hmm. she's trying to find her place. And she's trying to find the thing that everybody thinks that she should have. Um, I really wanted to play with the idea of, of the so-called prodigy, wh where there's no evidence of prodigy. I mean, mm -hmm. we don't really even have real evidence that she's a genius, right? Like, it, I feel like there's just these things that are thrown out, like, um, you're so talented, but why, why do they think that she's so talented, you know? So it's, I think that, that came from my own life, too, of, of feeling like there was this idea of, being talented, or but without, like, I just felt like a fraud, and I think that Molly feels like a fraud. You know, she feels like um, people are giving her this credit that she hasn't earned. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think you, you captured uh, a sort of a trend among arty uh, parenting that's, you know, very liberal, very permissive, and, and I, I just sort of saw a lot of people I know, a lot of families I know, um, very, very honestly depicted in this, in this film. And I, I think it's, it goes quite close to the bone. How did you sort of navigate that with your actors, with the actors who are also parents? I think that we were all just trying to find a way to, to tell something honestly, you know? And I think that, um, I think it ver is very relevant now. And I think that especially our, our um, you know, our adult parent age actors really identified with it because mm -hmm. I think that as parents, you're just, Nobody has a nobody knows what you're do they're doing you know they're just trying to figure out a way to be a good parent and um, one day it's doing this and the next year it's doing that you know and there's no roadmap I think everybody's just trying their best yeah well it's an absolutely beautiful honest depiction um, I'm really excited about it it comes out April 19th in theaters and um, thank you so much for coming and talking with us thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.